So let's talk about this match. It's Raw from Anaheim. Undertaker and Austin beat the Outlaws in a good match, 8 minutes, 10 seconds, when Austin pinned Road Dog after a stunner. People were throwing beach balls like crazy into the <laughs> ring. Austin punts one of them for a huge pop. Austin chokeslam Billy after the match, grabs a beer from a cooler, begins drinking it, throws one to the Undertaker, apparently as an apology, and Undertaker started drinking it. Show goes off the air with Mankind and Kane attacking Undertaker and Austin. So what's it like to work in the main event of Raw with Taker and Austin? I know you play off the cool, nonchalant vibe of, yeah. I'm just doing my job, but it's a big deal to you, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a huge deal. And and uh, But like I said, like we've been doing it with these guys. We've been rubbing elbows with these guys. And, and whether it was at the end of the night, Night, DX came down and sold stunners and choke slams for everybody or whatever, rock bottoms, whatever the case may be. Like we were working with these guys. So yes, it was a big deal to me. Um, I'd love to say it was as big a deal then as it is to me now, but it wasn't because I wasn't, uh, I wasn't zone. appreciative. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and that's, and that's not, look, I think there's, I think there's probably a lot of people that would go back and say, man, I wish I would have appreciated the early years of my career more. You know what I mean? Like you just, it, stuff started happening and all of a sudden you're caught up on this wave and you just ride it till it hits, till you hit the shore. You know what I mean? And, uh, and I hit shore before I wanted to. <laughs> let's, put, let's put some uh, perspective on how big of a deal this is. Um, all right, in San Diego, Kane and Mankind defeat you and Billy with a double team behind the referee's back. Cheaters, it, cheaters, it, pumpkin eaters. Is it weird working as baby faces compared to heels in these matches? Yeah, look, I, I, I thought about this a little bit earlier, too. You know, these guys are huge stars, and, they, and, they are, and they're baby faces, too, so we're trying to do the best we can. But, but I do think at some point you just are – thankful to see that many top stars in the ring at one time and excuse me i'll say that like today you know you wouldn't have those people rubbing up elbows today because you just don't have the we don't have the the you know, like the bandwidth i guess mm -hmm. i don't know how to articulate that but we you know you wouldn't have undertaker and stone cold they would each have their own segment you know what i mean like no they're not bumping up against each other and on this show literally the eight top guys are all yep. wrestling for the tag titles and fighting each other and stuff. And so I thought it was very cool. I thought it elevated, like I said earlier, the tag titles mm -hmm. and elevated the New Age Outlaws. In the main event, it was considered a real good match. Undertaker and Austin beat Maya Villa and Hart when Undertaker tombstoned Hart in 11 minutes, 12 seconds. Mankind and Kane ran in. Kane grabbed a chair and Taker moved, so Kane clocked Mankind with the chair. Mm. Undertaker got the chair and also hit Mankind, and then the Outlaws showed up at the what? end as well. Why is everybody hitting Mankind? These are... Eight of the top stars in the business involved, but did you ever have a feeling like you weren't actually being a part of the focus? No, I, you know, I, I did not feel that way. For one thing, and, and look, I, I know we, we joke about it a little bit on here, but I was just doing the job, and I was having a blast, and I was making a ton of money, and this was my dream coming true. And so I didn't really think about, oh, are they not focusing on me? Because I was in the main event of, of, of Raw's. I was going to SummerSlam in a tag title match. You know what I mean? I was being utilized in the best way possible because there's not a whole lot of room at the top of the mountain, but there's a lot of room on the sides of it. You know what I mean? And so that's where we were near the, near the top, but, yeah. but we weren't there. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So I was not thinking about, oh, they're not focusing on me. Uh, and when I read that, I think maybe that's top guy mentality, but I want to pop that guy in the lips. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't think that way, man. Just, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. All right. This leads to a four-way on August 10th on Raw in Omaha. From Dirty Dave, the Dirt Digging Observer, they were doing... Nine dollars $9 says he just buries the crap out of us the whole time. <laughs> they were doing ring intros for the Four Corners match.